must be the package containing my first subsidized review. Ah, well, I'm sure it's just a couple of packages. I'm new to this whole subsidized review thing after all. My work cut out for me. Guess I better get started. Oh. Okay, so I guess this will be the subject of my first subsidized review. Um, all those boxes were sent to me by a company called Wow We. Um, the prices on some of Wow We stuff can be kind of high, but that's because they actually tend to make some pretty clever, high-end, complicated stuff. Like, they are the ones who came up with Robo Sapiens a few years back. So, I'll be willing to give them the benefit of the doubt on this. Well, got a lot to go over. Guess, uh, guess I better get started on it. And so, the subject of my 100th review is... Light Sprite? Well, I did say I'd review anything. Light Sprites is a girl skewed series that involves little sprites or pixies or fairies or whatever you want to call them that can change into different colors. That seems like a simple enough premise. The Light Sprite starter set comes with the Light Wand and Prisma, the pink Light Sprite and leader of the gang, I suppose. The Light Sprite is turned on by a switch on the bottom, and you'll notice that after it's turned on, it flashes red, then green, then blue. That means that the bulb inside probably uses RGB color. RGB color was used on old vacuum tube TVs with a bunch of red, green, and blue dots pressed against each other. Depending on the intensity of how bright each of those colors were, you'd get a different color. If that's how it works on these light sprites, then I imagine you can get quite a wide range of color on it. The one turns on on the switch on the side. Pressing the button rapidly changes the color, while holding down the button transmits into the light sprite. Yeah, I admit that's actually kind of fun, but not doesn't really seem to be worth, you know, $30 for just something that can change color. I mean, we've had that in McDonald's toys, but then again, the real appeal of this wand isn't the fact that it can change the colors of things, but the fact that it can... Steal it! There is a sensor placed on the bottom of the wand that allows you to gather different colors. Pressing the bottom of the light wand against the flat surface with a bright color adds the color to your collection. Now this actually uh, adds a whole new rule of engagement to how this whole thing works. And you know, this is kind of fun, but they say it'll work on almost any flat surface. And in order to test that, we'll have to go... Outside! forgiving about the shape of the surface you use it on. I know it says to use it on flat surface, but I was able to pull Power Ranger Pink off of this remarkably non-flat Power Ranger. It also doesn't do too well with pale color. You need bright, vivid color for it to work, but kids nowadays live in remarkably bright and vivid worlds. I mean, picture books and comic books are a great source of new color. There is just oh so many things to explore. Even this mat here can probably give me a few different ones. Oh, that's what you get when you try to get darkest color. You've probably also noticed there's another button on the Light Sprite's wand. Now, that actually unlocks a few different features. It starts off in Color Library, which gives you the color grabbing and the color sharing, but pressing the button gives you some games, such as... Color Hunt! 
where you're supposed to search for the color they show there while it beeps. Kind of like a time bomb. Faster and faster and... <sighs> Again? <sighs> I mean, there's this color shuriken you can use in order to get the colors right, but that's just cheating. The other option... In order to do this, in order to get the answer right, you have to get the proper combination of colors. The next option is... These are mixtures of colors that have a different effect and actually cause the sprites to phase in and out of color when you hit them with it. Now, of course, there's a variety of sprites to get, all in their own original color scheme, and uh, they're actually able to interact with each other. The sprites have a button on the back, which allow them to interact with other sprites and transmit their color. They can all trade it with each other. Now, they aren't really posable and don't come with any accessories you could put on them, but in the immortal words of Megatron... Use your imagination! This whole thing, it's, it's really cutesy and wootsy, you know? Cutesy, wootsy, have you even met me? Where's the cynicism? The rogue element? Where's the character who kind of undermines the whole premise of the... Huh. Bleak is uh, kind of a dash of cynicism in the world of the light sprites. While everybody else has very colorful hair, Bleak's is kind of a drab gray. Her shtick is that she actually drains the color from things, but, you know, like the other light sprite, she, uh... She still takes colors just like the regular ones. Now, uh... <clears throat> like I was saying, she still takes the regular colors. Batman does not eat nachos! Um, the enclosed instruction book. So apparently Bleak isn't all hype. She actually does have different behavior from the other sprites. While some sprites willingly trade color with each other, Bleak actually rejects color when it's shared with her and can actually delete color from the other sprites. She also gets her own setting on the wand. She has a couple of spells on here that can either cause her color to go crazy, or it can unlock her, enabling you to change her color as normal. Light Sprites also ran an 11 minute special on the Hub, which is about how they gain their wands and the power to change color. Now, they say beforehand Lightopia was kind of drab, but I don't really buy it. Tough crowd. The show is kind of hit and miss, but you have to realize, how can you write conflict for a group of characters whose only power is changing the colors of things? Whatever. Now, the advertisements portray Bleak as kind of an evil foe to the Light Sprites, but in the television special, she's their friend. No doubt all according to plan. Wicked. Now, while the show is a little bit dull, it does have its moments. Let's teach a slug to do the worm. Get it? There's also some deluxe playsets that the Sprites can interact with. Usually, they kind of have an action that works on their own. For example, if you hit the button, you can get a color change here. But... If you add a light sprite, the light sprites can also give them that color. They can also share color with the light sprites. They can also be affected by the light wand. These rivers shall run red! <laughs> the playsets also include a light sprite's pet, which are kind of like the My Little Pony pets in functionality, some flowers, which can be used to decorate it on certain pegs, and a little fairy ring, which doesn't really fit me. By the power of Yggdrasil, this thing is big. The Tree of Light works a lot like a deluxe playset in that when you move it around, it will interact with the characters. You can hang the fairy's pods onto the leaves of the tree, which can add for a kind of fun carousel effect if you do it right. Oh, what is that? Wow, that's really crunchy for a $40 toy. I mean, is it, isn't it strange that out of all the toys, this is the only one that sounds like that? I don't know if I just got a bad batch or it's true with all of them, but if it's true with all of them, you know, that's not so good. Another fun thing is underneath this big thing, the on switch, you have to actually lift it up and find it. And that's Light Sprites in a nutshell. Uh, wait a minute, didn't I say something was going to happen in my 100th episode? <laughs> Sorry, I asked. Oh, did I cut you without your Dragonoid Destroyer? This color changing wand is going to leave you black and blue! <laughs> Oh, what 
am I supposed to do with a wand that can only change color? Wait a minute, that's it! Okay, one chance! What? Oh. I don't know how you did it, but you've given yourself the chaos attribute, haven't you? In order to take advantage of my chaos stockpile. Fortunately for me, I figured out that even though the color of a Bakugan isn't associated to attribute, the color of the battle suit is. So, if I change the battle suit you're using into Pyrus Red, you'll just fall right off of it. Glad that worked out for me. Hey, I actually uh, finished things with a non-violent solution. Who'd have thunk? Anyway, you'd better get out of here before I get rid of what green you have left. <laughs> The thing about light sprites is, first of all, the gimmick actually works. It actually does detect with a really high range of color. For example, I don't know if you can tell on here, but the orange of my hat is actually a slightly different color from the pack-in orange. My hat is just the tiniest bit redder. So it actually can discriminate in between these colors very well. It's not to say it's without its problems, too. I mean, the promotional material is kind of weak. The show is a bit lackluster, and the advertisements are... Oh, man, is that supposed to be a, a little girl or a grown-up? Honestly, these don't look like normal kids playing at home. They look like models on a TV set. But, you know, you want the people who are playing with these toys to look a bit more natural. Tough crowd. Now, the wand set by itself is definitely a very good purchase. It costs even less than a lot of DS video games. It actually provides a lot of fun. You get to experiment with gathering all the colors and seeing what colors you can change Prisma into. Though, if you're going to add some more to that, I'd say grab Bleak and the Deluxe playset. That really unlocks all the play potential that these things have. On the other hand, the Tree of Life is kind of the thing to avoid. The really nasty sound and music on the speakers. I, I honestly expect better sound quality from a $40 toy, and I especially expect better sound quality from the people who make paper jams. That and the inconvenient location of the on switch where you have to lift the whole thing up in order to get there, it's just kind of not a good design. If you're going to get it, make it the last thing you get, just in case you're just trying to get everything. Otherwise, I'd say just leave it alone. The packaging, too, kind of has some issues. You know, this packaging, it doesn't really pop. It doesn't really emphasize the things that these things are capable of, and honestly, it looks a little bit like the kind of packages I see knockoff products in at a flea market. You want to kind of class this up a bit. Maybe use some shaped packaging and uh, some brighter colors, and maybe just have the lawn like, be in your face in order to convey properly the fact that this thing gathers color. This is just kind of cutesy and not terribly classy. And at the price you're at, you want to be classy. So this toy is kind of expensive and it actually risks being a bit too sophisticated with how much it discriminates the color. However, artistically minded kids with a thing for color will just find this thing irresistible. Man, they sent me a lot of stuff. Really, I mean, what am I supposed to do with all this? I can't keep it, it's just too much. And selling it would be kind of unethical. I know, I'll give it away! Yes, I'm sure it's one of the things you guys have been waiting for, the promised giveaways! Anyway, before I go into what the prizes are, I'm gonna have to go into a few rules first. First rule is you have to subscribe to me. You have to be one of my subscribers in order to enter the contest, but that's free, it's just a button somewhere on the page here. Um, second of all, you then have to send me a message, a private message through YouTube, that tells me why you think you should get the prizes. That's pretty simple enough. You have about three weeks to do it. I'm gonna put an end date right here below. And another thing, if you live outside of the continental United States, you can only win the smallest prizes. I'm sorry, but I'm poor. I'm not really gonna break myself shipping out massive sets of things to people. I assure you it's nothing personal. Well, let's get into the prizes. The first place winner will receive a full spread. They will get the Light Sprites wand with Prisma, all four of the other sprites, one Light Sprites Deluxe set, the Tree of Light, and two sets of Light Sprites pets. The second place winners will receive a goodie bag containing the Light Sprite wand set, one Deluxe play set, Bleak, and two sets of Light Sprites pets. And our third place winner will receive three sets of Light Sprites pets. Anything left over that I don't keep for myself or share with friends and family will be donated to charity. So yeah, that's the prizes and that's Light Sprites. A fun little series, maybe a bit expensive, but for the artistically minded who love color, just absolutely brilliant. 
Anyway, in case this review really wasn't your cup of tea, don't worry, my next WoWi review will take the light shooting to a bit of a higher level. Anyway, I think now that we're done with this, there's only one thing left to do.